And there it is, as simple as that. If you ever wanted to create some high detail depth maps for your laser engraving, your CNC carving, or your 3D printing, well, give me less than five minutes and today I'm going to show you how. So let's get straight into it. So we're in Sculpt OK. This is the program I'm going to use. And as you see, there's lots of options, but you want to do the depth map. We're in the depth map generation. And what we're going to do now, we're going to load in that image, the amplified image, the girl with the base. And there we go. And it's a cracking image, but we'll get it straight in there. Now you've got loads of options. As you can see, you can optimize image, repaint image. But all we're going to do is just do the bog standard in image generation for a depth map and it'll come out really cool. I mean, what, what these other options do, repaint image, it means you can actually change the image that you've got there. We could change the guitar or whatever you want to do, but we don't want to do that. That's off. And all we're going to do is use the color image option and we're going to click draw. And now what it's going to do, it's going to generate us three really cool depth maps really quickly, which we can use for our 3D printing, laser engraving, CNC, whatever you want to do. And as you can see, that's the very first one. Now, each one it does will be suitable for different things. So as you can see, there's number one. And it's come out really cool by the look of it, generation number one. Number two, even more detailed, as you can see there. Now, it has got a watermark going across them. This is a pay service, but I have got some free credits for you. So if you use the link in my description, you'll get some free credits to get rid of watermarks and give it a test out. As I say, links in the description. Now, that's all, all three of the generations, and you'll see how cool and detailed they really are. They look so cool. So let's have a closer look at one of them. Here we go. We'll go on the first one. We'll just do the preview. And this is what it had come out like in a bas relief when it's 3D generated. And again, we've got lots of options to mess around with here. As you can see, we'll do the intensity weight. Now, this just basically means the detail. And so if we turn that all the way up and also the model scaling, you'll see even on the lowest setting, the least detailed depth map gives you a superb result. So we'll, just tr we'll try the... Last one now, this is even the, even more detailed and we'll do exactly the same, the settings the same and I'm sure you'll agree, it's come out really, really cool. Now, this I could use for my 3D printing. I could print this out as a bas relief and I could turn this into a piece of silver. I could use it to sand cast. But if you wanted an even higher relief, you can mess around here with all these settings and you can do some max thickness and this will make it even thicker. Look at that for a relief now. If you wanted to do some, I don't know, wood carving or lasering or whatever you wanted to do, you could get it really, really cool, really tactile. And all these settings, you can play around with and get different results. But as I say, I, I go for about 5 mil. And yeah, what can I say? What's that in? What, how many minutes are we up to? Three minutes, four minutes? You know, so cool. But I'm going to be using this first one for what I need it to. And you can miss, mess about with it again, but... That's the one I'm going to use. There it is. Let's get rid of the watermark so you can see it properly. I did download it. Let's have a look. And there it is. As simple as that. So Sculpt OK. Some free credits. Links in the description. Go check it out. 